Kips Clips. Oh, right. Boobtubes, another one of Kips Clips. So, woke up this morning to receive this um, in my inbox. It seems that through the power of Telegram, I thought Telegrams died generations ago, but apparently Telegram still exists through the wires and stuff. <coughs> but apparently through uh, the um, power of the Telegram app, uh, Tommy Robinson and these mob use. Uh, Danny Tomo's quit, folks. He's out the game. Um, it might be because he's currently on the run at the moment. <laughs> the the fact that he's going to jail for his bullshit <laughs> might have spurred him on to announce that he's quit. He's currently on the run. The police are conducting raids to jail him. And all of a sudden, he's just had a change of heart. And now he's um, he's quitting. So anyway, let's have a wee uh, listen to, hold on, what we'll do as well, um, you can pause that, read that, apparently that's directly from the telegram thingy, this, there's the details on the screen if you want to reach this guy's um, channel, um, so let's bat in. Morning everyone, Morning. so I just looked on our telegram and we see that I saw that Danny Tomo had put a message on his telegram. It looks like he's quit. Oh dear. Mad, eh? Anyway, <laughs> you'll have to bear with me. So I'm going to read the message back to what he said. It goes, good evening, you beautiful people. Now, I've already listened to this, obviously. I just want to give a shout out to this dude. I want to marry this man. I've finally met somebody in the world who's almost, almost... <laughs> As bad as reading at me, as me. <laughs> uh, I want to marry this dude. And we could have lovely little babies that we just wouldn't be able to read at all. Anyway. You fancy me. I just wanted to drop you all a quick message as I am receiving a lot of messages asking where I am. Mainly from the police. Police are trying to arrest you. Hi. I'll start first by saying the past few years have been absolutely incredible, to say the least. I've met thousands of British patriots, true British <coughs> patriots, travelled the UK, and travelled the UK, and together we have achieved. We have achieved greatness. I've organised events up and down the country with protest numbers up towards a hundred thousand people. When I feel this guy's pain. I mean, <laughs> I can tell this dude, like myself, struggles with reading, right? It's hard. <laughs> and I can remember my own pain back in the day, starting up the YouTubes and stuff like that. How the fuck am I going to read news off the newspapers and stuff if I can't read? <laughs> so you've got that nervousness of like recording yourself or going live or whatever, which just makes your inability to read even worse than you get a sweat. Oh, you and it just makes it worse. I feel this guy's pain. I started this. I had a burning desire to do something to help, to help a man who believed, who I believed needed us. As the years went on, the subject matter changed from free Tommy to Brexit to to free Melanie, Sh Melanie, Melanie Shaw to MP campaigns in the north of England. I do truly believe we sent a shockwave through the establishment. Tommy has done something no one else could have achieved, and for that we should be so grateful to him. Now, here is the thing. When you put your whole life on hold to help others, you sometimes don't always do what's right for those at home. I've been away from my family and especially my beautiful children for long periods of time without being. So again, here's here's some like logic that might sort of make people think about these people's genuine motives. <coughs> Bounce about the UK, want to save children from marauding Muslims, and, and they're not there for their own children. Tommy Robinson goes travels the globe, globe sleds around the world. Trying to save every kid in the every white kid in the world from marauding Muslim rape gangs. Spends most of his time in jail, away from his kids and family. 
You know, these, these people, you need to ask where their priorities are. You know, because regardless if you're a Rangers fan, a Celtic fan, Labour supporter, Conservative supporter, there's some things that in most people's lives they would come first, they would, they, they, they would, they would trump your allegiance to the Labour Party, the Conservative Party, the right-wing Zeke Allen Nazis, you know? Um, but, but, if you get an occult-like mentality, we're all in it together, it, it's very easy to slip into that dimension where you forget about all the normal priorities. It's what a cult does. A cult cuts you off from your family. It's their first goal. They want they need to sever your link to your friends and your family and tell you that they're the only ones that matter. And here we're like, Danny Tom was admitting that's what the Tommy Robinson movement done. It was one big, massive cult. A cult of personality, a Tommy. That's even if you can say that dude's got a personality. <laughs> being paid. When I came home from being away, I could, I could never, I could never, could shut off. I realised that I had looked after others but hadn't given those who met at the time they so desperately deserve. We have lived on the edge as <laughs> I had no income, sometimes using food banks to survive. I wanted to help so badly that I went... Guys going to food banks and... and <laughs> well, according to him, he's going to food banks and all that. He couldn't prioritise feeding himself over the Tommy Robinson cult. So he severed his friends, severed his family. He's even put in the cult before feeding himself. I would accept doing things for three because I was never about the money. For me. I... You were never about the money. But that be previous statement as to, I never made money. I was using food bags. It's like to paint yourself as a victim or poor me. Over the past... And, and Danny, no, nobody, to the best of my knowledge, nobody forced you <laughs> into getting as ball deep as you did. A few months, I've seen <coughs> some things and I've also heard some things that I feel I no longer can ignore. My family suffer from the constant targeted of targeting of being labelled as far right, Nazi, racist, bigot. These are labels that have co... Consistent. Oh, I can't even say that word. Consequences. See, I want to marry this guy. I want to marry him. I finally met somebody who struggles with reading. I mean, I get a reading. I must have a reading age of like a two-year-old and a good day two and a half-year-old. I'm giving this guy a run for his money. Her cons cons consent. Oh, I can't even say coincidences. I was nearly stamped to death in Coventry because the media had labelled me as racist. Something these category. Something that is a category not true. I mean, <laughs> and right, and this is the sort of a mental feedback you get, right? When you're, when you know, like myself, you can't, you're struggling to read, right? And the big words, and ah, oh, it's just a nightmare. So you get the sweat on, you get all nervous when you're reading out, you don't know if there's any big words going to pop out, you can't see. And then, look, the nervousness kicks in, and you start, oh man, it's, I honestly, genuinely feel this guy's pain. But do you know what? More power to him. See if you've got the ball, see if you can't read and you've got the balls to read on camera. That That's honestly, it takes cojones to stand up there and go, I can't fucking read. But I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going in anyway. All you have to do is Google my name and you would think I'm an absolute scumbag. My children, we we have to grow up in a normal area as I can afford to send as I, c I can afford to send them to private school. Can't. Right, so I think what he's basically doing here is Tommy Robinson, millions of pounds, Kids in the best school, private education, fucking few gaffes all over the place. Oh, somebody's got that address. I'll just buy another million pound mansion. No problem. And Tommy Robin and Danny Tom was like, I nearly get stabbed. I'm going to jail and I'm penniless. Woo! Yeah, Danny Tomo. Well, that was good volunteering work, mate. You've been used and abused, my friend. I'm worried that we'll... <laughs> they... Us Sorry, this is right and it's not good. I'm worried they will be targeted because of who I am and who I'm connected to. And because of that, 
and many other things, my mental health isn't great. I've been and I've seen the doctor who didn't really help. The police are actively looking for me at the moment because of the Telford report I did on a young girl who has been totally failed by everyone. And this... Police are looking for you, mate, because you broke all sorts of laws that are put in place to protect children. You can agree, disagree, protest about laws and stuff like that. But if you break a law and then the cops come up and start arresting you, you kind of go, oh! I mean... Ignorance isn't a defence, unfortunately. Morning, they carried out um, carried out multiple raids to find me. I've been away from my children because of prison before, and the thought of leaving them again has tipped me over the edge. The thing that gets me the most is one minute everyone wants to know you and be your friend, but as soon as you hit rock bottom, no one is there, not even... Welcome to the internet, Danny Tomo! The people that say your friends aren't really your friends, they're just idiots that chat to you online when they're bored. You know, real friends exist in the real world and would be your friend regardless of what shit did, didn't, may, may not occur online or what idiots are or aren't saying about you. You know, all the rest is just cannon fodder idiots that are just online with fucking filling in boredom in their heads. <laughs> And unfortunately, that is the reality about the internet. You bounce on and oh man, you're so great, I love you, oh, that's great. Like, one day when you believe in chemtrails, then the next day you go, no, oh, you stink. But all I did is change my opinion about what those fucking white lines are in the sky, and know you want to fucking kill me. And the one you have given up your life to help. Sounds like he's talking about Tommy Robinson there, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? It does. I made promises to people in Telford, and through no thought of my own, I've now massively <laughs> let down. I feel I have done so much for so many, but feel like I've, I feel like I'm very alone in a world. Because uh you've been used, Danny. No, again, I don't. I think Danny. I don't. I, I, I dare say Danny Tom was probably an average human being. I don't think he's a racist, fucking crazy, fucking mentalist. I think, like a lot of people, he's very gullible and fell into the, the cult of Tommy Robinson and was groomed by the populist rhetoric that these groups were rhyming and repeating um, deliberately to propagandise people, to add people to the movement. And Danny Tomo was one. I mean, apparently if the story about the kid, the, the, fo <laughs> the, <laughs> the fucked up kidnapping that he done is true, he just seems like a gullible idiot. At the moment for my own mental health and for oh, my own mental health, I've got to read this, my own mental health and for the benefit of my children I am walking away from it, all until I feel better in myself again. This is a lesson for me, I have learned the hard way and work out and work out when it comes to it. Not many are there for you, I want to try and rebuild my life if I can and do that do what's right for my family. I am very upset. I have to write this, but I seem, <laughs> but it seems. Danny Tomo, I'll, I'll genuinely be honest with you here, mate. <laughs> You've got a long road to go before being Tommy Robinson second and the command mantra drops from your head, mate. Um, every random cop knows who you are. Uh, the internet generation is all the youth know exactly who you are and like it's it's a sad I'm not I'm I'm not happy or gloating about this, but mate, you're gonna have a very long road to be able to like, try and establish any normality in your life again. It's the only way I am currently not in the UK and when I return most pr properly will be sent to run. prison. I went I want to apologise to my family and most of all my children. I wish you all very best. God bless Danny Tomo. Well, there you have it, people. It would appear that Tommy, Danny Tomo, sorry, has quit. He's quit the firm. Mmm, terrible. Sad about his mental health, now. That's not good on anyone. I know what he's on about there. And I wouldn't wish anything like that on anybody, you know, really. And it is a very sad state of affairs. And you know Jim Dowson? Who I believe, Jim Dowson and his little click and XBMP apparatus fascist bastards that work around him, they don't give a fuck about Danny Tomo. Um, I remember 
God knows, a year, two years ago or something, talking about how um, they would quite happily martyr Tommy Robinson. Um, and I was, I think I was talking about when he was going to prison, and I was like, they would have, they would, they would love him to die in prison at the hands of a Muslim. It would be the best PR victory that Jim Dowson and all that could ever score. They would literally have people rioting on the streets. Every Tommy Robinson idiot, Wendy like an idiot, would have been on the streets. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's quite sad, but you know, for all what he's done and everything, and things, you know, you know, maybe this. This, it, 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 hopefully, you know, he'll just get on with his life now. And can you see Danny Tom ever being able to like, have a normal, a, a normal life ever again? He's polarized himself into fucking two opposing polarized camps. Whether he understands this or not, he has put all his craziness behind him, and you know, look after his beautiful children. You know, because that's what's important, right? Is his children, and they should have always been important. And I think they probably were. I think he was probably doing it for what he was, the right reasons, but in his mind was for the right reasons. But, you know, he has what I like. Yeah. Right, so the reason he done this was to put the telegram thingy majig. There it's there. You can pause that and read it at your own leisure. You can pause that. There's the top bit. Just now he's scrolling down. So you will be able to pause that and hopefully read it all, folks. If you want to. So there you have it. Danny Tomo has quit the true. cult I mean, of all you Tommy have to Robinson. Do is Google my name and you would think I'm an absolute. Yep, just Google his name. Google it. <clears throat> so Danny Tom was out the cult for uh, the time being. Um, is it because he's just on the run and he's going to prison? Um, are those words genuine? Um, is he feeling, uh, by the sounds of it, he feels like a wee bit pissed off and let down by Tommy Robinson? His kids are in private educated schools and mines are going to the local council one and getting bullied because I'm right in the middle of it. I've never made a money. I've never made any money and like that. Hell, mate. Um... Tommy Robinson made a shed load of money off the back of you. You've probably done fucking a lot of work for him and everything, man. But hey, at least you enjoyed the hookers and blow when it was going, mate. You know, the good, enjoy the good times when they're there. It's not as much as that shit as you can. Because you never know when that powder and those hookers are going to dry up. And you're going to have to fuck off the fucking cost of the crime to hide yourself from the British authorities. Alrighty, boob tubes. Hopefully you enjoyed that, man. Um. Danny Tomo quits the cult of Tommy Robinson. Now, if you enjoyed that, thumbs it up, share it with your friends, your family, and your foe. Help the channel and the shows grow. Remember what I do here is digital basking. It is all available and accessible free of charge. I'm going to do such a good job you'll find value in what I do and use your spare change, not your life savings, in the Patreon and PayPal buttons down below. And a mega, mega, mega thanks to those who do. Thank you very much. Alrighty, Bib Chips. Danny Tomo quits Tommy Robinson cult. Catches! Keeps clear!